Bernard's maps or K maps. First few terminologies. The first one that uh, I would like to teach would be min term terminologies. Okay. First terminology that you have to remember is min term. Now, what is min term? Min term is actually has the property that is equal to one on exactly one row of truth table. So the expression that we drive from the truth table only for the row whose output is X is equal to one or for the row whose output is one. The expression that we create for that row is called min term. So a min term has property that is equal to one on exactly one row of the truth table. All right, so you need to remember this. Now, let me show you what do I mean over here. Let's say You see these out these outputs. So this the expression over here will be a naught, b naught, c naught. So x is equal to one if a naught, b naught, and c naught. So this a naught, b naught, c naught is actually min term. Similarly, over here in this one row of the truth table where the output is one. The expression a naught b naught c is actually min term. We don't have min terms for these two rows because the output is zero. So for only those rows where so min term has the property that is equal to one on exactly one row of the truth table. All right. So mind it. So min term a naught b naught c naught min term a naught b naught c min term a naught b c naught min term a naught b c min term a b naught c naught min term a b naught c. All right. So this is called min term. Second terminology is actually gray code. What gray code? G R A Y C O D E. What gray code? C O D and E. Gray code. Now, what is gray code? Gray code, you have already done it. I didn't name it that time. Gray code is also called reflected binary code. Reflected binary code means R, B and C. And sometimes it is also called reflected code only. So what it is, let me remind you, we did flip-flop circuits, if you do remember, flip-flop circuits. In flip-flop circuits, I told you that we can change one input only at one stage. So if we progress, we can change from zero to one because there is just one bit changed. If we go further, we do not make one, two, because if we make one, two, zero become one and one becomes zero. That is not allowed. At one given time, you can make on, uh, you can make just one change to the set. Now, 
so what it is uh, the reflected binary code rbc also known as reflected binary or gray code it is uh, first of all uh, named after frank gray the one who invented it he was actually a physicist and uh, an engineer at uh, bell labs so he invented this in 1940s it's a series of numbers like we have got 0 1 2 3 4 5 in binary form this is another series in this series we have got 0 1 3 and 2 because if we go from 1 to 2 we have to make two changes so that is not allowed in gray code you have to have the series which is having only one change to the adjacent number so uh, gray code is an ordering of binary numeral systems said that two successive values differ in only one bit you have one binary digit so basically if it is normal uh, series binary series what basically happens that we write like this 0 1 2 and 3 we don't have more than uh, two inputs on one side so we are not going to discuss for any input which is beyond two all right so we would have only at one given side we would have only two inputs a and b and for another side we might have another two inputs c and d but at given time there's just one but in gray code binary series we have got zero then one so from zero to one there is just one change that zero has become one but afterwards if i go like if you could see over here so one has become zero and zero has become one that is not allowed so what we write this and unfortunately in gray code scheme this is not called three this is still called two so we are not get, going to get indulged in that so i will still be calling it zero one three two all right so that's your idea your understanding um, remains where it was so what gray code scheme requires gray code scheme requires you to go on with the series but have just one change at a time now if you do remember i told you that if you will make two changes to the flip-flop you would have an error that is exactly the reason of gray codes gray codes are widely used to prevent spurious 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 means a fake gray codes are widely used to prevent fake outputs from electro mechanical devices such as flip flop circuits and to facilitate error correction i told you that whenever there will be two changes to flip flop circuits sr or sr circuit then we would have an error so this gray code is also known as error reduction series all right so when frank gray got uh, patent for this uh, gray code he named it reflected binary code but when people further uh, referred to it they started calling it gray code so what is the purpose of gray code the purpose of the gray code we are going to use this gray code in Karnaf maps is to reduce uh, errors so the purpose is error correction in digital communications and storage devices okay so for you the gray code is just at a2 levels is just a series where every adjacent uh, number binary number would have only one difference from the previous number not more than that okay now let's move on so now we know what is gray code in karnaf maps basically what happens that we want to create a circuit and reduce a circuit from the truth table. 
now let's say I've got this truth table where I've got this A and B two inputs and this output. So inputs are zero, one, two, three. Gray code does not apply to truth table. Truth table remains the way we learned it. Okay. And then we have got triple one and zero. So what are the min terms? Min terms would only be for the rows where x is one. So min term for this would be a naught, b naught. For this would be a naught b. For this would be a b naught, and there would be no min term for this. Okay, no min term for this because x is zero over there. And there is then another thing we call it. S O P S O P. This is sum of products. Sum of products. So what does it mean? Sum of products. We take all these min terms and put them together to find one Boolean expression defining the logic circuits in hand. What does it mean? We take all these min terms and we will create a Boolean expression out of it. So first of all, A naught, B naught, or A naught B, or A B naught. So get the idea of what does it mean? It, this expression is actually defining the Boolean expression for the circuit which is being represented by this truth table. So if we take min terms and we put them together with odd, so it means that X will be one if A naught and B naught or A naught B or A B naught. So this particular expression that we have driven out of this truth table in the form of Boolean expression is called sum of products. You will be asked in exam to come up with sum of products. Now, let's see. Uh, this question from past papers okay this is uh, 9608 32 may june 19 question 3a a boolean algebraic expression produces the following truth table complete the karnaf map and all okay so we will see karnaf map later first you have to understand that what would be the sum of product so sum of product would be a naught, B naught, C naught plus A naught, B naught, C plus A naught, B, C naught plus A naught, B, C plus A, B naught, C naught plus A, B naught, C. That's it. Okay, so that would be the sum of products. So we have to find min terms along this table and then we will put those min terms with OR gates. So that would be called sum of products. So that is actually something that is very important to be understood first. Achha, now it is possible that uh, after finding sum of products, we can uh, apply Boolean algebra to it and we could find an expression, a Boolean expression that is reduced and then we can create a circuit out of that. It, it is also possible. So if you are given 
a truth table and you are asked to create a circuit and it is up to you that which method would you prefer to use to come up with the circuit from the uh, truth table you can find some of products from the truth table and then apply boolean algebra or you can apply karnaf map karnaf map is certainly easier easier than boolean algebra okay now you got the idea of gray code you get the idea of min terms you get the idea of sum of products so the third terminology that you have to understand is sum of products okay so i actually taught you three terminologies that you have to have in your mind before we start learning karnaf maps because these terminologies are being used for karnaf maps now let's say i have given a truth table for k maps truth table is for three inputs a b and c and then we have got x so three input means eight possibilities zero one two three four five six and seven eight possibilities and let's say we have got min term at zero one one and uh, let's say last three for the rest of the values we have no min terms so let's first find min terms so min terms would not apply to zeros only applies to the lines in the truth table where the outcome is one so min term would be applied over here so this would be a not b and c and then we have got a b not c then we have got a b c not and then we have got a b and c and then we have sum of products sum of products would be x is equal to a not b and c or a b not c or a b c not or a b and c so actually the sum of product is created using min terms all right so this is also done so the use of truth table to this point is defined and this point might be used for um your own purpose to the point ke ab hum yahan se boolean expression ki taraf jaate hain karnaf maps ki taraf aate hain so now let's discuss about karnaf map and then we will get back to this so what are karnaf maps karnaf maps are actually i would have to create an excel sheet for it so that you have an idea hold on let's say hamare paas teen inputs hain okay so we will have uh, 
A site. सही है ए साइड है ये लेट्स से हमारे पास थ्री इनपुट्स हैं ए बी एंड सी अब हमारे पास एक ए साइड हो गई और एक बी एंड सी साइड हो गई बी एंड सी साइड हो गई तो अब हमारे पास क्या है कि आइडर वी वुड हैव ए जीरो और ए वन एंड देन इफ इट इज बी साइड B and C side, we would have zero zero. We would have zero zero. Zero one, one one, and one zero. Get the idea what I'm trying to say over here. So we have applied gray code. This might be A side. This might be B and C side. So whenever we have got uh, inputs to show, हमारे पास क्या होगा? ये ये जो टेबल है ये वाला. जो बी हमारे पास थ्री इनपुट्स का है और इसमें देखें हमारे पास ये बी एंड सी साइड है और ये ए साइड है तो इसमें आप देखें ये हमारे पास पहले जीरो जीरो आया फिर जीरो वन आया फिर वन वन आया फिर वन जीरो आया सो दिस इज ग्रे कोड सीरीज दिस इज नॉट ओवर हेयर वी हैव गॉट जस्ट वन इनपुट सो इट इज एक्चुअली गोइंग फ्रॉम जीरो टू वन ओवर हेयर जीरो टू वन वन चेंज एंड देन वन टू थ्री वन चेंज एंड देन थ्री टू टू वन चेंज ओके सो माइंड दैट नाउ This is called this series. This whole series is called gray map, gray, uh, uh, Karnaf map. Okay. अब आपके पास एक expression है. आपके पास जो expression है वो है a not b and c. तो अब यहाँ पर अगर हम इसको interpret करें so this would be a not this would be a this would be b not c not this would be b not c this will be b and c and this will be b and c not so the expression that we actually made for three inputs in this over here was a not b c a not b c plus a b not c plus a b c not plus a b and c let me put this expression over here so that you have a clear idea this was a not b c plus a not b c plus a b not c plus a b c not plus a b and c अब हमें क्या करना है कि हम सबसे पहले यहां से पिक करेंगे a not b and c Where do we get a not? 
B and C. We need to find the cross section where this is A naught, B and C. So A naught, B and C is over here. So this is the cross section for this A naught, B and C. So we will put one over here. Okay, A naught, B and C. This is the cross section. Then we will have to find A, B naught, C. So A is here, B naught and C is here. So this is another cross section. And then we have got A, B, C naught. So A, B, C naught over here, one. This is A, B, C naught. So this is the cross section. Then we have got A, B, C, A, B and C over here. This is the cross section. So we have to actually create sum of product from that sum of product, then we would have to find all the cross section over the Karnav map. Karnav map is series with the gray code on the side where there are two inputs and obviously on the side where it is one input gray code applies automatically because zero becomes one. Okay, so if we see it, आपको आइडिया होगा आई एम गोइंग टू शेयर वन स्क्रीन Hold on. Check this screen out. This is three inputs Karnav map depiction for different uh, sum of products. So this is uh, A naught B C naught. This is A naught B and C. This is A naught B and C naught. This is A B and C naught. This is A naught B and see you would have to actually get used to with this situation all right so what were the steps first you have to observe the table and then you have to extract out min terms from those min terms you will create sum of products and then you will actually see that sum of product and fill this karnav map now afterwards you have to understand loops loops or groups you have to create you have to put loops in order to create groups now what are groups groups are groups of ones or let's call them adjacent ones all right and that adjacency does not come in diagonal form let me show you one by one So this is a group. This is a group of two ones adjacent to each other. This is a group of two ones adjacent to each other. And I have put a loop. So see, I will ask you to put loops around it. Then this is a group of four ones. Now there are certain rules, those are applied. First rule I already told you the values along the top and the bottom follow the gray code rules. All right, so this is gray code, this is gray code. The values along the top or the bottom or on the side should follow the gray. 
only cells containing one are taken account of. All right, so we leave the rest. Groups can be a row or a column. Groups can be a column or a row. Okay. Or a rectangle. So in this case, it's a rectangle, sort of rectangle. Groups must contain a, a now. There are different accounts that what should be the maximum, minimum, or advised number of ones in a group. Few books says that group must be in order of two to power, means one, two, four, eight, sixteen, and thirty-two. So you cannot actually create a group of three, four, five, uh, six, seven, but yes, eight. Then again, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, no. And then for 16, yes. So the way we actually represent it in binary, 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128. So jo hum group banate hai, wo hum groups jo hai, wo actually create karte hai, as in terms of power of 2. 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32. So we cannot create a group of 3. We cannot create a group of 4. Another school of thought says that a group should be made of even number of adjacent ones, even number of adjacent ones. Anyways, uh, I have already decided and I always followed the first methodology, the first school of thought, which says that group must be made for the powers of two, means one, two, four, eight, 16, 32, 64. So I would not be making a group of six although it is a, it is an even number but i will all be i will be following my own uh, decision and i have already taught with that so do not worry or if you come across with uh, an even number methodology somewhere just ignore it so a group of ones will be made in terms of power of two means one two four eight sixteen all right group should be as large as possible groups should be as large as possible means that you have to create groups which are actually as big as possible all right and then groups may overlap within the other rules means if one group is shorter and you want to fatten that group and that group can then borrow few of the ones from the previous group so a new coming group, if it's small, then you have previous groups of which ones that are under which are overlap and can be taken. That is allowed. Now let's see how it is going. Now, now let's see. This is a group of four. This is a group of four. This is a group of four in a line. Now we cannot create a single group out of these four ones because the, they, they are not actually treated as adjacent because they are there in adjacent uh, in diagonal order. So diagonal pair we cannot create a group. So this is a separate group and this one is a separate group. So these are two separate groups. All right, so we cannot create a single group of these. Had that been in a line like this, or, or uh, underneath each other like this, we would have created a single group, but if they are diagonal, we cannot create. And similarly over here, we cannot actually create a group of six. So we have to create the group in terms of power of two. So we will be creating two groups. So one group of four, and then another group that would have borrowed another two ones from the previous group so this is ex exactly allowed because we have to follow the rule where every group should be as fat as possible and should have as many numbers of ones as it is in powers of twos so we have to out of these six values we have created two groups of four all right and uh, then pay attention over here. 
we have got four ones over here and two ones over here. So the Cardaff map says that if the group of ones in are on the far right and far left corners. So these corners should be treated as adjacent to each other. So these four are together, that is wonderful, but these four on the right corner and the left corner, they are together as well. So they will be made this way. Okay, so this is one loop and this is another loop and these four ones should be treated as a single group. So ones on the corners uh, and, and there is one exception over here. Ones at the corner and in diagonal corners, they are accepted as one group. So you got this idea that if you have got six ones, four together and two separate and they are at the corner. So we can create two fat groups of four ones as in these four are there, but uh, two ones at the corners, they will be treated as one group as well. Over here, these two at the far corners, but they will be treated as one. All right. So they are actually adjacent to each other. And over here, I told you that there is an exception. If the corners are diagonal, they are still treated as one. So this is another group. All right. So this will be treated as one group. And these fours are single group as well. These two are single group and these four are single group. So I hope that you got the idea that what is Karnaf map, how it is made. And then we have to have these groups. So, images and you would have to actually practice and keep in mind that what are the rules. So let me revise rules. The values along the top and at the bottom and, and on the side of the Karnaf map should follow gray code rule. Only cells containing ones are taken account of. Number three, groups must contain a number of ones as the power of two, means one, two, four, eight, sixteen. Anything in between is not acceptable. Groups should be as large as possible. Groups may overlap within the other groups in order to fatten them up. So it is absolutely fine if two groups are borrowing ones from another group, like in here or in here, that is all possible. Single values. Sometimes, sometimes we do not have a situation where there is one one and we want to actually make that one um, a group. Everyone should be in a group and that there is nothing adjacent to it. So that single one will be treated as group. Single values can be regarded as group even if they cannot be combined with other values from a larger group. Excuse me. The final Boolean expression can only consider those values which remain constant. Now, let's get back to our work, which we were doing earlier so that we could finish it up. Okay, now we have this sum of product. We will create a Karnaf map. So let's take A on the left and BC on the top. So this is A side and this is B and C side. So this is uh, zero. and one 
over here it is zero 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 one 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 and one zero gray coding so this would be b naught c naught this would be b naught c this would be b and c this would be b and c naught and this would be a naught and a There we go. This is our Karnaf map. Okay, so this is our Karnaf map. Now, A naught, B and C. So A naught, B and C over here. A naught, B and C. This is one. Let's change the color. So A naught, B and C. And then we have got A, B naught, C. A, B naught, C. This is done. This is done. A, B, C naught. A, B, C naught. This is done. And then A, B and C. This is A, B and C. Now we have to make loop, create loops. So you have to pay attention. These two can be made. These two can be made. These two can be made. These three cannot be because these, these, these do not fit to the power of two others. C. So one loop. All right. Second loop. And then we have got third loop. Okay, yeah, we have here learn here that there are three loops. Now we have to actually observe loop by loop. So first loop over here has got a a b not c and a b c not. And you have to then observe in this one particular group what is changing and what is not changing. So that which is changing is eliminated. That which is constant, either zero or one, will be kept. So A is constant in this particular group. In this particular group, A is constant. So the first thing that has come up is A. And then we have to look into these two that which is constant. So B naught and B are changing in this particular group, B naught and B. So zero is becoming one. So B is eliminated, but C is constant in these two, in these two. C over here is one, over here is one. So this, this has become A, C. Then let's take this group, this group. In this group, A is becoming over here from zero to A, one so a will be eliminated so what is common b remains one and c remains one so b and c and then let's take this this last group this last group does what it has a constant a is one over here a is one over here so a now in these two what is common b is common b is one over here b is one over here so b but C is changing. C is becoming zero from one. So it is one, it has become zero over here. So this will be eliminated. So these three will be treated as the reduced sum of product from this table, reduced one. Okay, so X is equal to AC plus BC plus AB. So now, AC plus BC plus AB. Hold on, hold on. I might have missed something. So A is common, B is eliminated, C is taken over here. Wonderful. So A and C. Over here, 
B is being changed, so B and C. So B is one, C is one, good. And then over here, we have got D, A is common, and then B is common. C and C not are changing. So this is AC plus BC plus AB. So now let's further this table and see what are the results. So AC, AC is zero, 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 one and one. Second one is B and C. B and C is zero, 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 one, zero, 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 and one. And then we have got what? A and B. A and B. Sorry, is A. Oh, this was A and B, sorry. Let's make it A and C. So this was A and B. Zero, 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 one, one. And then B and C, zero, 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 one, zero, 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 one. And then we have got what? A and C. All right, so A and C is zero, 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 one, zero, and one. Agar aap in tino ko aur kar dein, to this must be same as this X. Okay, so let's see. X over here. So X is actually or between these three AC, BC, and AB. AC, BC, and AB or. So if either of them is one, the result is one. So over here, this is zero, this is zero, this is zero, this is one, this is zero. This is one, this is one, and this is one. If you match these two axes over here, they are exactly identical of each other. All right. But the difference is in the size of the expression. So this for expression for this X is actually A naught B C plus A B naught C plus A B C naught plus A B C. Think about the logic circuit that you would create out of this expression. And this is the reduced expression, AC plus BC plus AB, and yet it has got the same result, zero, 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 this is one, this is zero, this is one, 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 this is one, one, one. So get the idea, so we have used this Carnaff map to reduce the size of socket or to come up with um, an expression which is reduced in size, size and so that we could create a circuit out of it. Agar hum iska circuit bana de, so this would be AC. And then BC. And then we have to have a B. All right, and they all are being odd over here. Apisco, being at liberty for the A twos. 
this is your x okay so that is how you can create it or you can create it this way a b b c or and then a c a b a c sorry this is a c and then b c this is a c b c and then a b ये ऐसे भी बन सकता है एनीवेज जिस तरह से भी आप बनाना चाहें अब एक पास पेपर का क्वेश्चन जरा आप लोग सॉल्व कीजिए This is uh, May June nineteen P three two question three A. Solve this question. आपको एक क्वेश्चन पूरा करना है. सबसे पहले it says that a Boolean algebraic expression produces the following truth table. You have this truth table over here. Complete the Carnap map for the truth table. Yeah, आपने कर लिया. इसके बाद the K map can be used to simplify expression that produce the truth table in part A. Draw loops around appropriate uh, group of ones in K map to produce an optimal sum of product, and then write the simplified sum of product over here. So this is a good question. Solve it. Good. अच्छा अब देखिए यहाँ पे हमने इसको सॉल्व किया अब दे माइट आस्क यू कि आप इसका जो है वो बना दीजिए सर्किट तो आप इसको सर्किट किस तरीके से बनाएंगे सो दिस इज और गेट दिस इज ए नॉट एंड दिस इज B not. All right, and the answer is X. And if you want to prove it, so then we have to further this. They might ask you sometimes. They don't usually, but they might ask you to prove it through the truth table. So A not, and then we have got B not. So this is one one zero zero one one zero zero, and then one 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 zero 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 and zero. So x would be x is equal to a naught plus b naught. So this is one, 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 and one, and this is zero and zero, and you can see that these two are actually identical. All right. So we have proved it. When we started off with Carnap maps, I I explained three things. Min terms means all those rows whose result uh, is output one. Their expression is called min term. and then gray code gray code is a series binary number series which does not let more than one change occur in the next number in binary form also called reflected binary code or reflected code rbc or rc and then the last one was sum of the product sum of the product represents the whole equation from which if you would create a circuit that circuit will give birth to the uh logic truth table okay so actually that sum of product is actually defining the truth table all right then 
I showed you one of the examples I did explain. Until now, I have not explained uh, Karnav maps for four inputs. I have just explained it for three inputs. So four inputs ka hum phir jo hai wo abhi dekhte hain thodi der mein agli class mein dekhte hain. Lekin bharal humne three inputs ka dekha. Or for all of the questions that we have completed, we actually cross checked whether some of product which we derive directly from mid terms or the sum of product with that we have uh, driven out of this uh, Karnav map. They, are they both producing the same output? So truth table tells us they both are creating the same output. All right. Achari. They are treated as one. Okay, so all the values on left top bottom right or whatever they all are treated as same one so you can always group all the corners of the karnav map for four values all right and then if they are like this in diagonal corners they are treated as one if they are like this so these are the groups of eight now these are the groups of eight now over here we what uh, we can make a group of eight and afterward we can make a group of 16 so these 12 cannot be made so we created two groups over here this is a single group over here there are two groups each of eight over here we have got same this one is presented this way so this is actually horizontal this is vertical over here there is no possibility to group these ones uh, uh, together so we created three groups of single ones and then over here this is a common uh, way exam question appears that there are two groups one of four one of two all right so let's solve a question with four inputs i think it's been terms nikale or some direct you have or sum of products calculate card this sum of product would be z is equal to this one p not q r not s plus this one p not q r and s plus this one p q not r not and s this one plus pq r not and s plus this one p q r and s all right so we have pq on top side zero 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 one 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 zero 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 one 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 and one zero so this is p and q side and this is r and s side So this is P naught, Q naught, this is P naught, Q, this is P and Q, this is P and Q naught. This is R, R naught, S naught, this is R naught, S, this is R and S, this is R and S naught. So let's first deal with this P naught, Q, R naught, S, P naught, Q R not S one P not Q R not S then deal with this P not Q R S P not Q R and S P not Q R and S P not Q R and S then with this P Q not R not S P Q not R not S here P Q not R not S correct me if I'm wrong huh? pay attention to it and then we have got this one pqr not s p 
Q R not S over here, and then this P Q R S. P Q R S. All right. अब हमें इसके लूप्स बनाने हैं तो एक लूप तो ये बन जाएगा और एक लूप ये बन जाएगा ठीक है अब इस वाले लूप में आर नॉट आर हो रहा है तो हम इसको नहीं ले सकते लेकिन एस हम ले सकते हैं क्योंकि एस यहां पर जो है दोनों सूटों में कॉमन है सो एस ओवर हेयर पी नॉट पी हो रहा है बट क्यू नॉट इज कॉमन सो एस एंड क्यू P not and P are changing, but Q is constant. So we have taken Q over here. R not and R is changing, so we left it out, and S is common, so we have taken it over here. So then, plus R not and S are common and constant. P is constant. Q and Q not are changing. P R not and S. So this is our equation. X is equal to so S and Q or you may write it this way. X is equal to Q S plus P. R not and S. One thing that you have to make sure कि किसी भी हालत में कोई input आपकी final equation में से गायब नहीं हो जाए. For example, P Q R S should be there. We cannot afford to lose any single input because the number of input remains the same. It does not change. Only the output, the expression, or sum of product gets changed. All right. So there are questions in past paper. Uh, do find those questions. Try to solve those questions. This is it for uh, uh, Karnaf maps.